श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताकिकेसरी वेदाताचार्यवर्यो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण आफ्टर द फस्ट इंट्रोडक्टरी वर्ष ऑफ वरदराज पंचाशत स्वामी देशिक prayed for all the auspiciousness and mangalams from varadan on all of us so he said he mentioned that kalayatu kushalam naha may he bless us may he grant us all kshemam to us his dasabhutas adiyongal so continuing on that in the second verse Swami Desigan prays to the Lord, Kari Shaila Nathan, Hasti Shaila Nathan, to bear and to and to forgive him, forgive Swami Desigan for his entry into praising Varadhan. He says in the verse. यस्यानुभावधिघंत मुह्यंगुरतीयो मुनिर्वभौम तस्वते स्तुतिषु साहसमश्नुवान क्षंतव्यवता करीशैलनाथ हे करीशैलनाथ द नाथन आफ् हस्तिशल द नाथन आफ् हस्तिगिरी अभंगुरतीय the the there is no uninterrupted gnanam aparimita gnanam kuraivatra gnanam unlimited gnanam muni sarva bhaumaha the muni shrestha not just munis muni shrestha the highest of munis who are they he is not referring to vyasa vasishta parasara sukha he is referring to the alvars alvars who are mad mayarvara madinalam arula petra alvargal so that muni sarva bhaumaha yasya anubhava madikantu ashaknu vantaha santaha yasya the varadan anubhavam mahatmyam adigantu nandraga arige kittu no to comprehend अशक्नुवंत सत दी मुनिर्व भौमा दी आलवार्स हू आर् ब्लेस्ड वित् अन्इंटरप्टेड अन्बउंडेड अन्लिमिटेड ज्ञान ब्लेस्ड वित् सच ज्ञान दोस् मुनिश्रेष्ठर द आलवार्स डिड नाट कुड नाट कांप्रिहेड देवर अशक्तर्स देवर पवर्ले they had clueless to to narrate to enjoy to to express explicitly compose about the mahatmyam of this varadan yenda varadanudeya mahatmyatte shakti illadavargalaa kondu moham adaindargal they swooned muhyanti they swooned they fainted they were speechless they were spellbound at the vaibhavam of varadan who the people who blessed us with 4000 divya prabandhams who sang on all other divya desams unfortunately no no alvara sang on varadan why is he because he is inferior swami desigan says not at all he is superior in the sense they they are they are i've struck they were they are speechless tasyevate stutishu sahasa vashnuvanaha to such a glorious awesome varadan varadarajan of the karishaila nathan yev ste stutishu in i am i am praising i am composing stotram on you varada साहसम अश्नुवान ई हव ई हव टेकन दिस हिर्कू ई मीन डेजरस् टास्क ड्रेटफुल टास्क राश अटेम्प्ट वेन्ेम्स कुड वेर स्पीचल 
could not speak ast and i did not take up i have been pushed into this ashnu vanaha i have been i have attained this state and bhavata kshantavya yesha this adiyan bhavata kshantavya should be forgiven by you what a great naicha anusantanam and what a wonderful way of putting forth subtly that you are top class that nobody can contain your beauty your vaibhavam your majesty your glories your kalyana gunas your swarupam your roopam your guna your avatara vaibhava parisiddhi prasiddhi nobody can contain that in the in words in verses in anubhavams in in expressions they have to just look with mouth wide open or swooned they get swooned they faint and they get into a trance and that's what is talk when such is the case stuti shu he says i am committing stotrams vyakyata anbil gopalachar writes very nicely stuti shu means in plural i have composed stotrams on varadan which is nyasa dasakam nyasa vimsati now vardaraja panchashat these three verses have been composed by desingan on varadan and hence bahu vachana the plural sahasam he says i am not doing that sahasam i am not performing that sahasam i am sahasam ashnuvanah i have been i have been pushed into the enjoyment of this sahasam even though he is not he is not on his own accord taking up he has been forced into this by his beauty the one who is pushed into the water he is he is drinking the he is gulping the water when he is getting drowned similarly he is doing but it is bogyam for him and he is enjoying himself that and chantavya please forgive me because alvargal could not even go could not even attain they say uyar vara uyar nalam udayavan yavanavan uyar vara uyar nalam udayavan yavanavan yavanavan who the one who is who is beyond the ultimate and here also he says that varadan tasyeva avan yavanavan tasyeva and chantavya forgive me apaya dikshitar enjoys this totram completely fully and he he mentions he also mentions in his second shlokam in his varadrajastavam he says in the same token hey parama purusha you are you are glory you are you are ultimate glories so far nobody has sung nobody is going to sing nobody who is going to be born nobody has been born to sing to compose the ultimate to the to the ultimate satisfaction of himself about you varada because who else can comprehend your glories and when i am attempting to do that obviously who else would be laughed at and mocked at like myself like people laugh at me i am the laughing stock because they all look at me and say hey when others cannot even do why are you attempting there is no way that you can reach even an iota one fraction of varadans vaibhavam apay dikshitar mentions similarly swami desigan mentions here so deva perumalidam niradisaya rasam ullavar desigan desigan 50 verses on this is the is the best which we will enjoy here it talks about the great thus it talks about the great sages and seers of unfailing perception who have who have praised eloquently on other divya desams 
composing wonderful Tamil prabandhams. Now unable to describe your magnificence in words at all. The reason is because your majestic greatness, majestic magnificence, glorious Vaibhavam cannot be expressed in words, cannot be put in words and I do assert cannot be composed by even the infallible alvas. They may be but they may be great but they are of unfailing comprehension and composing ability on your majesty. They, you, that cannot be conceived or concretized or condensed in a, in a worse form. So, but in, in spite of that, I venture, I am forced to venture, I am, I am pulled and tempted and attracted, captivated by you into a, this Varadaraja, Varad Panchasat and rash it is of course. And I relish, I enjoy this rashness because you are the subject, a sweet, delicious subject. And who does it? I, the mere non-entity, when compared to those wonderful Mayaravara, Madinala, Marula, Petra, Alvargal, you, you must be laughing that amused by my statement, by my, by my rash attempt, similar to Swami Desi, Siddhesikan Dayasatakam, he mentions in the 103rd verse that the Divya Dampatis are laughing at me and they are amused at my Anubhavam. Similarly here, Alvars must have, the, the swoon, they must have fallen into trance. This is not falling unconscious. This is not falling in a, in a coma stage. This is the ultimate, the blissful Anubhavam at Sri Vaikuntam, similar to that. And this interpretation is given on the basis of assumptions that Alvar, Alvars have not composed any verse on Varada. People would come and argue, those Varada Rasikas would come and argue. But this Anubhavam itself is, is pleasing to Varada Rasikas that he is far supreme than the other Divya Desams that one cannot sing in praise of him. They are just speechless. So it adds to his beauty and vaibhavam. Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedhanta Gurave Namaha Sriman Venkatanatarya Kavitarkika Kesari Vedanta Acharya Vriyome Sanidattam Sadahardi Namo Narayana We'll continue to enjoy Swami Desikans Varadaraja Panchasat to commemorate Atigiri Varada's appearance once in 40 years. Today we will enjoy the third verse. Swami mentions that because of Sri Naradu Ramal, Sri Apullar, great grand Acharya's Anugraham being almost groomed or brought up at the lotus feet of Perarulalan Vardarajan's Sannidhi with Vishesha Jnanam blessed by Nadadu Raman under the tutelage of Appullar Swami Desikan shined with Bhagavat Bhakti Jnanam Vairagyam Anushthanam and because of that naturally he had intense bhakti for Swami Desikan, Swami Perarulala. So Swami Desikan said that please, please forgive me for my sahasam, for my rash attempt to praise you. The third verse, he goes on with his Naichyanu Santana, with his feeling utterly as helpless and seeks Perumal's blessings. And here, with his beautiful poetic skill, he writes, 
in the third verse janan janan nanadi vihitan aparata vargan swamin bhaya kimapi vaktum aham na shaktaha avyaja vatsala tadapi nirankusham ma vatsalyameva bhavato mukhari karoti he swamin sarvaloka swami anadi vihitan அனாதியாக செய்யப்பட்ட அபராத வர்கான் அபராத கூட்டம் அகமஸ்மி அபராத சக்கரவர்த்தி சுவாமி தேசிகன் மென்ஷன்ஸ் இன் தயா சதகம் ஃபார் டைம் இம் மெமோரியல் ஃபார் செவரல் பர்ட்ஸ் ரைட் இயான்ஸ் ஃபார் ஏஜஸ் அடியேன் ஹஸ் பீன் கமிட்டிங் அபராதம் இன்கரிஜிபிள் சின்ஸ் ஜானன் அகம் ஐ நோ ஐ ஐ ஐ எம் ஃபுல்லி அவேர் ஆஃப் my papa kutam i am completely aware of my the papams adian had committed for several births bhayat kimapi vaktum nashaktaha because of that because of that bhayam the fear comes in me i start shivering because of being known about the papams kimapi vaktum nashaktaha and hence i cannot even talk about an iota a little of your glories ashakta na shakta vaktum to utter na shakta no shakti completely ashaktan tatapi even then bavatah you are vatsalyam eva because of your vatsalyam means the vatsalya gunam which does not see the other person's defects other person's follies other person's doshams nirankusham ma adakkuvar illada enne nirankusham uncontrollable me untamable me and papa samoohangal yerpadutha koodiya thada eduvum illamal so nirankusham and adakkuvar illada ennai or it can also mean nirankusham means with no the huddles with my papams should not be there for me to talk about you mukhari karoti you are blowing the shankhe which is me to blow the verses as vardaraja panchasar such a wonderful verse and swami gopala anbil gopala acharya writes the avatharikai that sahasam you are saying you are you are saying you are entering into sahasam and you are saying please please forgive me in the last verse why do you have to enter and why do you have to seek forgiveness and maybe you are saying na sahasam anaruhya naro padrani pashyate சாகச சாகசத்தில் ஏறாமல் மனுஷன் க்ஷேமங்களை பார்க்க முடியாது அன்லெஸ் யூ யூ அண்டர் டேக் ரிஸ்க் யூ கெனாட் சக்சீட் இன் லைஃப் யூ கெனாட் கெட் க்ஷேமம் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தட் நியாயம் யூ மே சே யூ ஆர் என்ட்ரிங் இன் டு சாகசம் விச் இஸ் ஃபைன் பட் இன் ஆர்டர் டு ப்ரைஸ் மீ யூ ஹாவ் டு ஹாவ் அ நிர்தோஷம் டி யூ ஹாவ் தட் ஆர் யூ நிர்தோஷி ஆர் யூ நாட் having any defects un perumai maashunado vammane so you should you should not should you not leave away go away because of bhayam but you may say akrishtamanasima you are tempting me you are luring me you are attracting me with your beauties with with my with your beauty with your vaibhavam with your glories you so acharya re you are saying like that but even then should your apprehension should your fear about praising me with your doshams not stop you from praising all that he says but now swami desigan responds to that question in this verse that anadi kalam for 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 time immemorial i have been committing various sins and swami says i know i know that i have been committing bhagavata vachara bhagavata vachara asahya vachara rupa nana vidhananda vachara 
आरब्धकार्यान अनारब्धकार्यान कृतान क्रियमाणान कर्ष्यमाणान सर्वं क्षमस्व रामानुजाशय सिन शरणागति गद्यम सिमिलरली स्वामी देसी कैन मेंशन जस अडियन इज फुल्ली अवेयर ऑफ ऑल अपराधम व्हिच अडियन हैज कमिटेड बट नोइंग योर वात्सल्यम योर सर्व स्वामित्व स्वामित्व यू आर माय स्वामी दैट इज व्हाई अडियन एड्रेस्ड यू एज स्वामी एंड you are having on your na natural on your own accord you have vatsalyam on the jeevatmas forgiving their follies forgiving their mistakes their papams because of the anugraham that anugraham has inspired me to start attempting to praise you that is what comes in swami's thiruvallam and hence he addresses perarulalan as avyaja vatsala avyaja vatsala means the 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 yerkayagave anbu kondavan by on his own nat natural vatsalya this avyaja vatsala is a very key word the vatsalyam may happen between the mother and the child between the father and the son between the brothers between friend but that could be because of the the sarira sambandham aupadikam it is forced upon the relationship whereas he has been our father from time immemorial he we are his eternal servants eternal session eternal dhasan we are he is swami we are session we are servant we are his children and this jeevatma seshatvam dasyatvam is not for anyone else other than emperma atyanta paratantrya nitya nirupadika ananyarga seshatva atya anta there is no beginning there is no end forever he is our swami we are his children we are his servant we are his session he is our session he is our niyanta he is our aadhara and it is atyanta nitya eternal nirupadika it is not interested enforced forced or thrust upon by anyone it out of compulsion it is natural nirupadika ananyarga seshatvam ananyarga means uttrome avo umakke aakshayo other than him we are not subservient to anyone else so where are our kindri emberamanike uriyavai and it is it's been there uninterruptedly and hence this bhagavan has got such a vatsalyam on his children the anbu with no reason it is nirhetuga kripai yerkayaga and even though he is sarvagnya he is also called avignyata because he does not see the dosham of the the bhaktas the sharanagatas and the in dayasatakam swami desikan mentions that trivengana mudaya bhakta dosheshu adarshanam he does not he is not able to see he does not have the shakti to see the the papams of the bhaktas swami De, uh, dayasatakam swami desikan mentions so beautifully and this vatsalyam is nishane nere onrumile yen yen kan paasham vaitta paranjudar jodike swami namalu are mentions about trivengra madaya ishan manavarthi enbanennal adu deshamo trivengra thanukke nishane nere onrumile yen kan paasham vaitta paranjudar jodike he is paranjudar jyoti he is the he is sarva sarva sarveshwara he has got ananta garuda vishvaksena nitya suri smuktas 
and other devatas and he is the chief of the whole universe but he does not get pride because of that all that he wants is that he is bhagavan for me who is completely lowliest nishane nirai ondru mile yen kan pasham vaitta paranjuda on on such a lowly me he has got vatsalyam and that is that anbu that daya that karunya man this lowliest person with all the defects and doshas is that vatsalyam and that's what gives him vaibhava that's what puts him on a highest pedestal avyaja vatsala that is why swami desigan mentions so endearingly avyaja vatsala and here he said that vatsalyam eva that vatsalyam alone will has made him speak mukhari karoti and say maudadruho mukarayanti gunastvadiya in godastuti he says you are i was i was observing mauna vratam because of pradosham but your beauty as as completely made me speak made me open my mouth he says and similarly swami swami mentions that he says swadmanam ranganatha swayamiti mukari kritya sambodha sambodame sammodame sma in adigarana saravali he he made me sing adigarana saravali ranganathan like the he he blows the pancha janyam similarly here he says his vatsalyam has made him speak and you are avyaja vatsala you you will feed the baby because of vatsalya and it, it has made this nirankushamma one who is untamable one who is uncontrollable that is me and still you are able to make me compose swami desigan mentions in dayasatakam also in the 99th verse trishtebi durbhaladiyam damanepi dripta swapnapi dhuli rasikam bhajanepi bhimam badva grihana vrishashaila pade dayema tadvaranam swayam anugraha shinkalavi here he says the elephant which is the angry elephant one cannot at all control they even the the mahut cannot tame it it will not listen to him it will not it will hurt people it would not, and similarly swami desigan says adiye has been trespassing all the shastras adiye has been ignoring the elders advice preachings upadesams adiye goes away from them and this angry me has been tied down by trivengada mudayams dhaya tied down by the shackles of dhaya and make me sing similarly swami desigan mentions here about perarulalan that his vatsalyam alone has made him speak in spite of his nirankushamma so beautiful nicely he says vatsalyam alone has inspired him kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha adiye shriman venkatanatharya kavitarkika kesari vedanta aacharya varyome sannidattam sadahrudi namo narayana we are continuing to immerse ourselves in varadaraja gunamrita vaibhavam lord varadaraja of kanchi based on the wonderful amazing shlokas of varadaraja panchasat composed by swami nigamanta mahadesikan today we will enjoy the fourth verse kim vyaharami varada stutaye katam va kadyotavat pralagu sankuchita prakashah tanme samarpayamatim cha saraswatim cha twamanjasa astuti patair yadaham dinomi here 
Swami mentions first, he addresses Perumal as Varada, Hey Varada, Lord Varadaraja, the one who grants, the one who grants Varam. So, Hey Varada, Kathyotavat Pralakusam Kuchita Prakasha. Kathyotavat means the firefly, Minmini Puchi, the firefly, the one who sheds light in the dark, small, smallest light it will emanate from its body, which is not at all illuminating even the its own body. It just smallest light and Katyodavat also means the sun so the illumination provided by the firefly is extremely alpam extremely lowliest very small smallest and minutest brightness like that the jnanam Adiyen, aham, adiyen, bhavata stutaye, with that jnanam like a firefly's brightness, adiyen has the lowliest jnanam, with that kim vyaharami, what will I understand and what will I tell about you, stutaye, katam vyaharami, what will I, how will I, how am I going to express, tat madim cha, Saraswatim cha me samarpaya. Tat, hence, madim cha, madim means give me the intellect because Adiyan lacks that. And Saraswatim cha, give me the walk shakti. So Adiyan is completely stumbling because of the insignificant lack of intellect and Adiyan is struggling for words and hence please bless me with the, the Mati and Saraswati. Mati means the intellect and Saraswati, the walk. So give me the intellect and speech. Thereby Yadaham Stutipadai Twam Anjasa Dhinomi. Based on that Adiyan would please you based on that stuti and the words given by you. So please bless me. So Swami says Kim Vyaharami. Swami Desikan mentioned in the first verse about the Karunyam. The second verse about Shamam, Shantavyaha, forgive me. In the third verse he talks about Vatsalyam, the inherent out of his own accord, the natural love, Vatsalyam of Vardhan. And now he talks about his Audharyam, the Vardhatvam, the one who he one who grants luxuriously, liberally. That's what is talked about. And here his Namam itself is Vardhan, the one who gives. So why should, how can I limit myself with lowly words, lowly jnanam, lack of jnanam? If Adiyan is a dormant like, an, like a matter, like Achit, then no problem, nothing can be done. Wonderful, just lay, lie down like a log of wood. That's okay. But Adiyan has got little jnanam because being a Jivatma, so, because Adiyan realizes that I am your eternal servant and my Atma can survive, can, can, can sustain and it will, it will perish if I do not praise you. It will sustain if I praise you, if I perform Stuti. So, that should be the nature of the Jivatma. And hence, in order to protect my Atma Rakshai, 
in order to um, save my atma in in not getting perished because of no stuti of yourself hence adiyan wants to praise and you, your vatsalyam should make me open my mouth as mentioned in the third verse now the mouth is open but the mind is unable to think of the the glorious magnanimous majestic kalyana gunas of yours the wonderful vibhavam of yours where are the words where is the gnanam where is the intellect to comprehend you like the dhruvan who was standing with his mouth open and looking at you and you showered him with your with your kataksham so much and touched him with his with your shank with your white conch shell on his cheek and stroked his cheek you blessed him with your kataksham krip rishi says kripaya kapole that kripai and then the touch of conch shell on the cheek made him burst out with wonderful shlokam so swami takes the things of that shlokam the first shlokam of of dhruvan and uses the same words in this shlokam so he asked for the saraswatat saraswati the words the power of those words and mati the intellect from perman from varadan and here when you are praising varadan the highest supreme lord you cannot go and give 1 dollar half a dollar you have to give in millions and billions of dollars with highest ornaments greatest silk clothing amazing stotras on uh, which is at least in a manner befitting to the lord so how can i give avaram avaram means the lowliest varam means the biggest that is why we say pennik varan kedaitada varan means the highest miga miga chirandad when we when we see kalayans for our children we look for the varan varan means the right highest wonderful match similarly for varadan we have to look for the varam the highest stuti for him not avaram the lowliest but adiyan has got no intellect no gnanam no words struggling for words how can i give the best for varadan so please bless me with that gnanam please bless me with the words so that i can offer you that so varam means the one we plead and he gives and hence varam dadati so varadan varam also means the best so we have to give the best to him so that's why vare enyam bhargo devasya dhimahi so deva deva perwal he is the one not only what we ask he grants what not only what we ask he also grants what we do not ask also he gives the best for us which he knows we would deserve and he gives the and hence even in aashirvada mangala sasanam in brahaspati says in in sri rangam sri ranganaika sameta sri ranganada suprasanto varadho bhutva amum vadum anugrinnati idi mahanto anugrinnantu so vaidigas will say tatastu even our ranganadan how does he bless the vadu the brahmachari anugraham he becomes varadan so every divya desa emberman in order to bless they become varadan varado bhutva so our d ram shri shri d ramaswami ayanga dind uh, dindikal he writes so beautifully in his commentary and our acharya says in the book 
that he is a Varadhan Kadalan. Let us also walk in the path of love for Varadhan and enjoy such beautiful Anubhavams. That's why Vedanta Desi says, Thiru Urayai Tham Porulai Nirpar Vandar. Thiru Urayai Tham Porulai Yekasveshitvam. Perindevi is the word. Paradhan is the meaning of the word. So they are together. Thiru Urayai Tham Porulai Nirpar Vandar. And here I perform dhyanam and I would like to please you. I am performing Deva Puja and hence I am offering my words which I do not know, which I do not have. So you need to bless me with that. And that's why Swami says, give me mati and walk. Buddhi, diyoyona prachodayat, buddhi will come. Saraswati, walk, vani. Mayarvara Madinalam Arulinan. Even Alva says, He is the one who blesses us with the right jnanam. And not the right wonderful jnanam. Namalvara also says, Yanai Tannai Tan Padi in Thiruvayamari 10.7.5. Perumale sung all these Thiruvayamari through me as the instrument, Namalvara says. On similar lines, Vedanta Desika pleads for the mati and the walk here. So, because one, one may ask, what's this? I don't know. I don't have intellect. I don't have words. So, you give me intellect. You give me words. Based collecting that, I will sing. Is that right? Though Swami can compose on his own, when like Alvars, when they look at Varadhan, they are speechless and hence they are running, struggling for words. Yato vacho ni vartante, apra apya manasa saha. So we may say Dhruvan was a child, so he was blessed. But Swami is already an Acharya Sarvabhauman. Why should he seek? But there is no difference. The child as well as Acharya Sarvabhauman are same in front of the Supreme Lord. Here, Kadyotam means the firefly and the sun and the firefly though are having brightness, sun is nothing compared to Deva Pirmal because Deva Pirmal is Sahasra Koti Suryan and Bhishasma Dvata Pavate Bhishodeti Surya. Even the sun fears, shivers, and then shines because of Pirman. And hence, you are the one who grants everything. You may say, I do not need, I, I, I do not have any wants. So, why should I give you? You should give me because you are my Swami. You need to. Make me survive and not perish by making me praise you. If I do not praise you, my pranan will not be there. And, and when Ramavataram, the, he listened with the brothers, with the mantris, to the, the, he listened to the Ramayanam sung by Kucha Lava, Lava Kucha. When, and in Tiruvaran Vilai, Perumal came and stood in front of Alvar to listen to his verses. Similarly, please bless me and give me the mati and walk so that listen to my stuti and bless me. Otherwise, I cannot sustain. Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunashalune Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Monarayana Adiyan.